So, hello, this is Destructively Phased, and welcome to episode 3. Is it 3? Yeah, our Phase Plays Room World. So, yeah. Last episode, now we became a tutor for, I think, at least one more, maybe even two. I can't remember. It's been a couple of days. But yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, you, are having, you have an extreme break. Risk and you are slapped in the heat of a bedroom hot innocent person had died getting for bread. So there's not much we can really deal with unless Yeah, okay, go and eat and that might help bring mood up a bit. Just wait for these other thoughts to tick down, I guess. You should probably invest in like a central uh, air conditioning coolers for the actual rest of the base, not just the freezer. Oh well. Right. Okay, we also probably need a particular cleaner. And I think we also need to adjust these opponents. Here, Cindy actually makes stone blocks to pave the out. Two shooters should kill that thing pretty quickly. Yeah, it also looks like Matthew became a chew toy as well. So, that's good, isn't it? And you should probably be right in hospital bed right now, getting some treatment for that missing foot. <sighs> Cindy is going to tend to Matthew right now. So we need to invest in prosthetics really early, it seems, in this series. <laughs> to be fair, uh, increased forest density does say increases the spawn rate of predators, so this should have been expected right from the off. So we need a prosthetic foot. Okay, uh, Decker. Go there and shoot that wolf to death. And then once we've carried that out, fire at Timber Wolf. Yeah, wait here and find any other deadly wildlife that's nearby. Like say that timber wolf. And the plan will be just to pour fire into it. Let's just go on a mass predator killing spree, shall we? We'll have the river for it to cross and slow it down so we can get a few more shots into it before it gets to close it, closes the range and good. Emus are emus can also dangerous, alright? I guess not. Right. Uh, yeah, we got Pies busy cleaning out all the corpses we are gathering now as well, so yeah, that's good. Cindy is busy chopping up stone blocks for Jeez. We only are making marble at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, as they're like the core of our walkway. We'll start making granite later. I'm just looking to pave the sides of it. Yeah. Uh, I want to say you should be able to get three good shots into that thing if you just fire right there. Uh, three good, really, really good shots into it, actually. Like, really good shots. I only got a, it only got a chance to hit strike back once. That was worth it. So that's three Timberwolves killed in a single day. Right, now have your simple meal and uh, head back inside and get safe on the purpose for the night. Oh dear. Who's at risk of breaking? I'm guessing it's Matthew, right? Yeah. This is where we seriously need to invest in. Uh, Aesthetics, I think. I think we need to invest in aesthetics in this series. Definitely. 
At this point, we have so many colonists missing body parts that it's no longer a joke. Oh yeah, <clears throat> yeah, right then. So, hmm. Right then. So, just. Yeah, we'll let Matthew wander around outside. Tomorrow night, I think we're going to have to seal him in this structure here, so we'll have to actually get that being worked on during the day so we can seal him in for the night. As tomorrow, I believe Matthew is the one we... Yeah, he is the one with the werewolf trait. So he's the one who'll try and murder, murder everyone tomorrow. But oh well. Right. Actually, I don't think we'll need to invest in uh, prosthetics for Matthew. As werewolves do regenerate limbs whenever they transform, so... We won't need, to, we won't need prosthetics for him. We'll need them for other people, though. Which, you know, is not too bad. Right then, so, in the day, and another chance for this colony to actually do decently. Decker is hauling in the corpses, it looks like, so that's good. Good food supply. Oh wait, no he can't, as that one's eating. That one's resorting to cannibalism. Did you shoot at it? No, you just tried to bruise it. Okay. Cindy head there and, uh, melee it. Decker, go and join in the melee of the warg. Uh, what's that bear doing? Hunting warg! Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good for us. Stop shooting! Stop shooting and just get away from there now. That's that's the or that's your orders. But the bear. Okay, the bear. The bear came to. You. Stop shooting! You're going to upset the bear. So Matthew now leave would be coming warg meat or warg meals. Okay, what's it doing? It's just wandering. Okay, we're we're good. Oh, that panther's also going to be an issue, isn't it? Oh my god. Maybe uh, increased violence density was not a good idea. Just thinking about that. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with him? Uh, he's downed because of poor moving. So. We need to collect the charge rifle, and we'll have Denaro rescue him. We'll ha we'll treat him and then lock him in a room for the night. That should hopefully restore all of his limbs and missing body parts, and then we'll be good. Yeah. So far, most of our casualties and injuries have come from the local wildlife rather than any raiders, though. Which which sets the tone, I think, pretty nicely for this series, as in, we are all going to die. Right, ten to Matthew, have someone ready a piece of wall to go in and then seal it. We'll seal them in for the night, and then once that's done, we'll be, you know, we'll be good. We're also chewing, we're also going through our medicine at a prolific rate, I have to say. We started out with, what did I start out with? 30 pieces, 30, 30 sets of medicine. And we're now down to just 12. We've gone through more than half our medical stockpile in the last few days, so... That's going well, isn't it? Cindy's just finished feeding him. Okay, Decker. Work on that wall, will you? Thank you. That way he won't be able to get out at night and kill everyone. That's just the plan. Uh, it looks like Denaro is. Where's Denaro? Oh, she's clearing out the trees from her growing zones before she's got to. How about you sow that area before you work on the corn area? I think what we need to do is get a series of turrets up 
Yeah, it saves the turrets up, and then we'll manually shoot an animal. Yeah, let's work on the marble flagstones, I think. Let's start that way people can move around outside a little bit faster. And they also look they also look a lot nicer if you ask me than uh just down wooden floors. As yeah, it's wooden floors maybe a lot cheaper to do outside, but oh shoot. Shoot, head for there, and Matthew's the one with the charge rifle, but no we have no, we have the charge rifle. Available to be cleared out. Denaro. Is going to die. Because, of course, he is. Melee. Mel. Melee. Melee. Everybody out, I'm gonna go and kill the walk before it kills Denaro. Oh, God, this is damn near impossible to handle. How's she doing? Pretty badly injured. Which is walk walking away. She'll allow the other car. She's now downed. Here come the other three to save her, though. So. Alright. Revenge squadron closing in. So that means that. Decker takes over the role of Chief Grower. Health, some cuts, and it's now dead. Fire. It hit you, and it hit you. And it hit you as well. There we go. Prioritize hauling that walk back to the colony. So, yeah, there lies Denaro. And that's one timber wolf which broke after oh, this is damn near unsurvivable. I think we are gonna be killed off by animals in this series. I don't think we'll survive at all. Our attempts to civilize this area are not going to work. I don't think. I think what we should be probably be doing is looking at having a growing zone. Just be right here here, so that way, in the event we get brutally murdered by something that wants to kill us, or something that wants to try and kill us, help is at close range just to help save the person who's saved the grower, which is now Decker. I think having them be on the other side of the river is not a good idea. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear indeed. So deck is now asleep in bed, and we have a spare bed now, because of Denaro's death. So we'll set that as medical for now, so that way we can we can have everybody be tended to by a doctor, and you know we can tend to all their wounds. And Matthew just destroyed the bed. But it's a good job of sealing him in, as that way he won't be able to uh, kill everyone. And no more missing limbs. Which is good. Which is good, yeah. No more missing limbs for Matthew. I'm going to toggle that on. So, yeah. Oh, that's why you always seal people with that trait into a room on the night of the full moon. <laughs> there we go. So we need, we need a new bed. It's also why I had this area set up over here. We didn't build it in time. And the medical room seemed like the best place to pull that off, but yeah. Oh well. <sighs> Yeah. So Matthew no longer is missing is no longer missing any limbs at all. He's got injuries but no more missing body objects. 
That does also count, take into account bionics. If you actually give a colonist bionics and then they transform into a wolf, the bionics would fall off. So you can't, that's sort of the balancing point, you can't make them absolutely super colonists. Let's just build you a bed so that, you know, you actually sleep on, on something rather than the floor. Oh well. And Matthew's now fully healed as well, so that's good. Yay. We just need to t we just need to recruit Teddy now and then we'll be up to a good number of colonists again. <sighs> and so this is one of the hardest starts I've I had to date. This whole uh predator filled map. I never had a, I never had a, like a star be this hard before, so yeah. That's that's going good, isn't it? Uh you're recovering from injuries, so is it yeah. I think we also need to uh, miscellaneous sarcophagus. we'll go with the one sarcophagus for the time being. The idea being that we'll bury Denaro and give everybody a good thought for the f next few days. <sighs> anyway, at least we're like actually getting some outside walkways now. Which is nice. But, you know, right. My thought process begins and ends right now with a case of this is going terribly. Terribly, 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 terribly. <laughs> Dear. Oh great, now we have food point. Shoot. My thought process begins and ends with a case of but will this torture ever end? Oh. Anyway. Alright, so... There we go. Matthew is building an outside roadway, so that should hopefully speed up the way that people move between the kitchen and... other bits and pieces. So, let's... Oh, come on. Where is he? Melee attack! Come on! Hey! So, what can Teddy do? Work. Uh, he's a good constructor. Yeah. Uh, he's passionate about it, so he'll learn pretty quickly. He's also passionate about uh, shooting, so yeah, he can be a... Uh, he can also be a, a hunter as well. And yeah, that's that's it. Okay, there we go. We have a, a dedicated... We have another co constructor now. Matthew is going to kill that one. So yeah. Come on! Melee attack to death. Can we get you to kill off anything else like that? Oh, you like this? Probably. Let's attack that wolf, shall we? Maybe we can uh, do enough damage to stop it being too much of a threat to humans. Come on, and keep attacking. And do the cougar boy at it, as I'm pretty sure that's going to become a threat at some point. Nope, wrong, wrong thing, wrong object. I mean, yeah, this is a—it's pretty effective. Uh, I think he'll actually bring it down before it brings him down. He's gonna bleed to death right now. Anyway, okay, just keep attacking, keep attacking. Melee attack to death. One more. Should probably do it. Nope, it is still alive. So there we go, three more dangerous predators killed before they could harm our colonists. Matthew is now going to get some medical treatment. Which is a good thing. See, I... Yeah. Okay. That seems like it's broken, if you ask me. It requires us to, you know, have it have it be completely removed and then once it's completely gone and the game realizes that it's broken, it's replaced by the Wheel of Trent. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's a pretty good so yeah, it's a pretty good the Wheel of Transformation's a pretty good ability just to keep people just to have actual ability to deal with these purposes. 
yeah. <sighs> Still vomiting? Well, that's a lot of vomiting. Pie ear, yeah. yeah, okay. <sighs> I think we're gonna get this outside walkway done eventually, so that, that'll be good. I think we got enough blocks to uh, actually finish it off as well, which is good. What are you doing? Uh, you're. You're hauling in. Oh, oh, vomiting. You're hauling in steel to make that uh, prosthetics workbench. You've been tended to. Your eye is still completely useless, though, so. Yeah. Oh, dear. We're also going to need a. I think what we should probably start trying to do is recruit some guests. So. You. Ooh. We need a grower. Ooh. We need to probably. Need to do I want to recruit these? I think we probably should try to entertain so as the. Nope. Go back. Make, de make that the default and then try to recruit and. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. Get some more colonists. It's now the summer. And disease infection for Matthew in his right arm. You know what? S let's do this to cheaty, cheaty way. Tend to him and then health operations, add bill, amputate arm. Prioritize operating on him. We'll do this the cheaty. We'll do this cheaty way. I think, since you know, loss of limb for him means nothing, and that arm already has a stab scar, so it's not that good, really. It's it's already missing. On it's already missing. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Restored the arm. Perfectly fine. Ah, <sighs> that ability has so many uses. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, we need to probably should set this bed as no longer uh, prisoner, so that Teddy actually has a place to sleep for once. Cindy. Uh, who's up current? Deck is currently up. We'll, we'll let him have his joy of watching the sunrise, I think. Uh, have we built that sarcophagus yet? No, which means we need to actually build it before Denaro starts to decompose, as that will really upset people. Is he? Yeah, he's not an anesthetic, so once that, once that recuperates, he'll be fine. Once that, once that stops being a problem, he'll be fine and back up on his feet. Deck is getting back to uh, growing some crops, which is good. Yeah, we need to grow some crops. What's going on up here? Right, um, shoot, Decca, flee, actually, fire. That's what we're going to do, we're going to use the gun. How's Decca doing? Didn't lose any more body parts, did he? No. At this point, this is ridiculous, though, how many people we're losing to animals. That's... You're heading for Teddy. Teddy, get inside. Pie follows suit. What's it doing now? It's consuming the cougar corpse. Okay. Teddy can now go back to uh, constructing the path. So we're only working on that bit there. Just work on the bits that you don't have to chop down trees for. That'd probably be a good idea. 
And that's a pregnant. Cool. Okay. So that's good. Okay. I think it's going to be a while before we can even think about letting people go too far away. Uh, on this map, we're going to have to tend with so much. Is this walk? We have walk on walk cannibalism. I think that. I think that sets the tone for this series. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. <laughs> Taken to ridiculous extremes. <sighs> it's going to be an interesting series, I think. Anyway, at least we have some proper. At least we have some like proper paths going up, so we'll be able to move around our own little bit of, a col of the colony pretty quickly. And it's just occurred to me, I probably should do this. <laughs> okay. Uh, Matthew? Work. We should probably be set to uh, construction, I think. And yeah, you didn't have a gun, so... Work on that cool off. Yeah. We need more. We need more steel. Oh shoot! Great. That means we need to go mining for steel. Yay! So let's just set someone to mine. Tell you what. We can let Matthew do the mining since he has nothing. Yeah. Well, oh, God, what's that Cobra doing? It's just wondering. Okay. Okay. Teddy is building out the pathway which we need. So yeah, well we're going to actually move around the colony pretty quickly now, I think, at this rate. And then... Yeah, I mean, the marble flagstone does look nice, you have to admit. The marble flagstone does look like a really nice thing. Granite flagstone, yeah. So we need, we need some granite to help frame it. I think the darkness of the granite and the lightness of the marble will, will contrast nice... Oh, shit. Just tear it to shreds. Yep. And now get back to work. Okay. Just just let him back get back to work. And I think that's actually just going to do it for this episode, is at this point, I don't know what I'm going to do. It is nearly unmanageable, I think, it's fair to say. But yeah, that's that's going to do it for this episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, I suggest hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. So that's where you're saying that like, you enjoyed this video, and the subscribe button lets me I'll let you know when the next one of these videos goes live. So. That's always it up. That's always a bonus. Otherwise, though, uh, hit that share button down below. It helps my channel to grow and makes me build these videos. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. And in the meantime, it is phased out.